Every year in November, our nation comes together to support the men and women who fought and continue to fight for the freedom of the nation. At Norfolk Naval Shipyard, there are more than 3,000 veterans employed with more than 650 considered Naval Sea Systems Command wounded warriors, all of whom are valuable assets to America's shipyard family. To celebrate Veterans Day, we sat down with a few of our shipyard veterans to learn more about their personal journeys in servicing our nation and what America's shipyard has to offer fellow veterans. My military background is really kind of interesting because I started off as a uh, nuclear machinist mate and at the end of prototype uh, up in New York, I actually ended up failing out. But that was a great thing in all actuality because I ended up becoming a conventional machinist mate. And while I was a conventional machinist mate, I went to my first ship and was assigned actually to A Division. Actually, they gave me a choice of being in A Division or being in M Division. I, I chose auxiliary. You give me a chance to be in the sun, I'm with you. So I, became, I got in that division, uh, became an air conditioning refrigeration tech, worked on everything uh, that was actually anything hotel service wise. And the fun part was I went from doing that to teaching air conditioning refrigeration. The first ship was a supply ship, taught air conditioning refrigeration school. Then I went ahead and uh, went to a nuclear cruiser where I got assigned the last nuclear cruiser, which actually got decommed here at Norfolk Naval Shipyard. I brought it in here for that decom. Uh, that was CGN 25, for those of you who may remember the USS Bainbridge. Uh, went from there, did a tour as a career counselor because I found out while I was on the Bainbridge, I could actually get paid to talk. <laughs> Who would ever thought that? <laughs> so in the process of getting paid to talk, I became a career counselor, which was really right down my alley because I really was concerned about how sailors were being treated and the opportunities they were being given and things that they didn't know was available to them. So I became a career counselor, uh, finished the last eight years of my service as a career counselor. I did 20 years. Uh, was absolutely had a ball with doing all of that. And then here I am, here at Norfolk Naval Shipyard. I joined the Navy in 1986 after two years of college. After boot camp and a couple of sonar schools, I was assigned to the USS Memphis as a sonar technician. Served there for a few years. And in 1992, I applied for the enlisted commissioning program and was accepted. In 1995, I was commissioned as a surface warfare officer, served aboard five different mine countermeasure ships, two, two destroyers, and my career culminated as a executive officer on a mine countermeasure ship. While I was active duty, I was a military working dog handler. Um, basically what that means is I had a dog um, that was my best friend and my partner and we would go out and find explosives that the bad guys would plant um, before our troops would go out. I came to the Navy in 1980, uh, attended boot camp at Great Lakes, Illinois. Um, Gunners made A and C school there. I went to my first ship out of Norfolk uh, in 1981, uh, USS King DDG-41, served five years on, on the King. Uh, left there and went to Sears school was at Sears School from 86 to 89. I uh, went there as a second class and left as a chief petty officer, uh, one of the biggest accomplishments in my Navy career. I left uh, Sears School, went to the Reeves out of Japan, so I got a chance to go uh, live in the Orient for, for over a year and uh, changed home ports from, from Japan to Hawaii. After that tour, I came to Nuclear Weapons Training Group uh, and was a nuclear weapons inspector. Uh, made senior chief there, went to the Army Sergeant Major Academy for nine months, uh, started working on my master's degree there, and transferred back to San Diego to uh, Fleet Texas Support Center Pacific, which is a NAFC organization on the West Coast. Uh, finished my master's degree and went to the USS Milius out of San Diego for three years, and transferred back out here to the East Coast because I'm from Danville, and we wanted to get closer to uh, the grandparents because we had children at the time. Um, had my first tour as a senior enlisted leader at the weapons station at Norfolk. Atlantic Ordnance Command Detachment Souls Point, made Master Chief and was accepted into the Command Master Chief Program, went to VFA 103, the Jolly Rogers, Skull and Crossbones, UA, and uh, served on board the Eisenhower, did a nine-month deployment, 
and uh, transferred from the cross deck from the, uh, the Eisenhower to the GW. Took the GW around the Horn of South America to San Diego. That was 2008 when GW had the big fire. Over $100 million worth of damage to that ship. Uh, after we, we got to San Diego, I transferred to uh, NIOC, did my last Twilight tour there, and then I retired and came here to Norfolk Navy Shipyard. I have uh, m a lot of background uh, in the family that have served in the military going back to the Spanish-American War. Uh, my grandfather served in the Korean War and my uh, father served in the Vietnam War and the um, Desert Shield. I was active duty for five years as a air crew survival equipment man. Uh, I was in a helicopter squadron and deployed with the Carrier Air Wing 3 Truman Group um, as an oxygen systems technician in AIMD. I served for five years and after my first initial enlistment I separated um, and worked as a civil engineer for a as local asphalt company here in Hampton Roads. Uh, after 13 months, I was involuntarily recalled in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom and went to serve for another two years as a customs border clearing agent on the border of Iraq and Kuwait, after which I began my career here at the Norfolk Navy Shipyard, I believe around 2008, as a outside machinist. I have a lot of family that have served. My grandmother was a Japanese-American uh, from Hawaii. And even after uh, spending time at the Japanese relocation camp in Gila River, Gila River Arizona, she uh, went and joined the Army Nurse Corps and served her country. That's where she met my grandfather um, as a nurse in the Army. Uh, my grandfather on my mother's side was um, uh, airborne in the Army, and he served in World War II and um, the uh, in France uh, leading up till D-Day while my grandmother had actually stayed behind in Georgia raising the family and um, worked as a, a, in, a in a manufacturing sense kind of where the uh, during that time a lot of times women had joined the workforce to take the place of men who were going to war. Uh, I have cousins that are currently active duty in the Army and the uh, Coast Guard and my daughter is in the junior ROTC for Air Force at uh, Western Branch High School. And she may or may not be following the footsteps of many of her family. It's going to be up to her. But at this point, it looks like she might be going that direction. I um been in the Navy 30 years. Of that 30 years, I have done seven ships. So DDGs, FFGs, LHDs, and a carrier. I done two shore do three shore duties, which happened to be pushing recruits. I'm an OIC of the engineering training unit and a subbase pearl. And during that time, I done 23 years of that time at sea, with only seven years of it on shore. I served 20 years in the Navy as a nuclear machinist mate. Um, I served on five, four carriers at five different commands. Um, I served on the USS Enterprise, followed by commissioning of the USS Ronald Reagan. I did a shore duty here at Marmac in Norfolk. Then I went to the USS Theodore Roosevelt, and I finished my career at the USS Abraham Lincoln, where I retired during its uh, um, complex refuel overhaul over at Newport News Shipyard. I joined active duty Army in 88, and they trained me to become an x-ray tech and I did that for a good eight years and I went National Guard personnel for that one. I enjoyed my career. I am Roy Gilbert. I am a U.S. Navy Chief Naval Counselor, Surface Warfare Qualified, retired, and we are America's Shipyard.